Okay, so this is my iPhone 5. Um, obviously, it is not on iOS 7 yet. Um, I'm going to go onto the Mac, which is there, and try and get it onto iOS 7. And everything that I do, I could like absolutely do a big ass cock up on it. But oh well, <laughs> what if I just open? Okay, so when I go on the computer, I'll explain more of what you have to do with the iPhone and a bit of some of the warnings that you may want to hear first before you even try this. Okay, so now we're on to iTunes. You can see my phone's in. Right now I'm actually running on 6.1.2. I don't think you have to be running on 6.1.4, but I'm just going to do it off of this and see how it goes. Um, and yeah, the website I was talking about that you have to go to is this website. And obviously this is the one if you're in the US. Uh, and this is for the rest of the world, as it says. Um, but obviously, just in case, check the little codes on the back of your iPhone. Just in case, because I've been seeing comments on people's videos saying that um, they've been having problems with their phones. And it might be because they've been downloading this one and they've been in different countries and stuff like that. So, after that's downloaded, it will download as a torrent. So, you do need like BitTorrent or uTorrent or something like that and also the warnings that I was going to tell you about is if you are on an older version of iOS like 6.1.2 like me or 6 or whatever um, when you do this you will lose your jailbreak, your unlock and any of that kind of stuff um, but however you can downgrade back to only that I know of is 6.1 6.1.4 and that's just straight away because and that's just simply by doing the same as this just holding down the alt and click on update on the Mac and I think it's shift or something like that on the PC and then you just find your firmware thing yeah and this is basically how you do it on the iPhone now so you need to do that hold down alt or shift if you're on um, PC find the new firmware which I have already downloaded and then just click open uh, da, 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 da. iTunes will update your iPhone too and will verify and update your Apple with Apple sorry <laughs> update my Apple um, okay so after this is done I'm going to come back to the video and we'll see where we are Okay, there was one more warning that I forgot to tell you about, and that was if you're on the iOS 7, and iOS 7 then gets released and it is no longer a beta, you um, unless someone finds a way to downgrade, you will be stuck onto it. So basically, here we go. I have this now, and I'm not gonna lie. Um, halfway through, it was taking kind of long after the iPhone light uh, loaded and stuff. The Apple logo was there for quite a long time <laughs> the Apple logo was there for quite a long time so I actually just held down the off button and it switched off I turned it back on and yeah now I have iOS 7 I have no idea of the feature I see someone do this before that ain't working for me <laughs> okay a nice little keypad and stuff. Anyway, yeah, um, the reason that I didn't show you it on the computer is because of this. This little thing popped up, and it's just because I didn't have the latest version of iTunes. So I couldn't show you it on the computer. But yeah, so I have this. Um, please uh, rate, like, and subscribe if you like this video, if it helped you at all. And please stay tuned for more videos. They may not be Apple related because I do play games and stuff like that. I want to take apart my uh, PS3 and stuff like that. Okay, uh, I hope this helped and don't forget to rate, like and sub.